Okay. So today I bought the first part of Shiny, well, the second part of Shiny's Misconceptions of um, Me album. So this is the Why So Serious part. First part was Dream Girl Misconceptions of You. So first talk about Dream Girl. I thought the Dream Girl album was actually very, very good. Um, it was a very smooth, very funky album altogether. It was very, um, kind of, a lot of the songs were based around maybe, like, love and some type of girl. And, yeah, and the title song was very catchy, very funky. The only thing I really didn't like about the dream girl aspect altogether was the styling. That really was the only thing that I did not like. I personally didn't like. It was the reason I probably really didn't watch too many of their performances because I didn't like too many of just the weird outfits. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't watch Onu in a really odd outfit. It's weird. So the second part compared to the first, I just got it maybe at like literally like 40 minutes ago the whole thing um and this is after watching why so serious come out um when i was in bed at one o'clock i was just surf i was just like looking at youtube and then my iphone it was like oh sm loaded uploaded something so i decided to find out what it was what it was it was freaking shinies why so serious so i watched it instantly it was like freaking k-pop crack pipe we'll get to that later um <laughs> So, uh, the album Why So Serious Altogether, I think this, Shiny might be at their top with this album, because even though Dream Girl was a very cohesive, funky, upbeat album, it, it still, like, was lacking that something, that oomph, that makes Shiny Shiny, even though all the songs were great. There was only maybe one I didn't like. And then I ended up liking it after watching, after hearing it a few times. That was spoiler. But once I heard the Why So Serious album from Nightmare to Why So Serious to Shine to Oracle to, what is it, Dangerous to Like a Fire to, I think it goes, Excuse Me Miss, Evil. And then the um, Sleepless Night. All of the songs are excellent, excellent quality, excellent music. The only thing that's weird about the album is that I think compared to um, Dream Girl was a very together and very resonant album. There are lots of harmonies. There's there's lots of yeah, like there's like it's lots of harmonies or lots of resonance between the voices. This time, even though there is a lot of resonance with the voices. There's a lot of dissonance in the music. And I think you have to go up and look up music stuff. I just took like a music class and right before I graduated from college. And it was about like the dissonance in the music. So it's kind of like, you get that feeling like when you listen to it that kind of everything's not together. Kind of, it's very chaotic. It's very different. And that's why I kind of, when I first listened to Nightmare, I was like, whoa, what's, what's going on here? I don't understand. And it resolved itself, which is good. And then the same thing happens with Why So Serious. It's like, nah, 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 nah. and it starts you off kind of like, uh, kind of tense. It gives you that tense, and then it lets you go. Um, quite a few of the songs do that, but they do stop that after the first few songs. And then it gets very, very resonant and, um, the music is still a bit disjointed, but it's, it still flows together, and it's a very, very cohesive album, just like Dream Girl, which was amazing. But I just think the songs on this side of the album are so much stronger, and maybe more of what Shiny wanted to portray, more so than Dream Girl was kind of like what they said everyone else looks at, what everyone else sees them as. And pretty much, I think this side of album is what they see themselves as. So, I mean, it's it's a great, it's just a great, great album. It's a must buy for anyone who calls themselves a shawl, a shawl. I don't even. I think it's a shawl, <laughs> a shawl, shawl, whatever we call ourselves. So, I mean, let's talk about the Why So Serious video. It pretty much was like a K-pop crack pipe. <laughs> 
<laughs> I shouldn't have watched that right before I went to bed. But, and I woke up and watched it like three more times. It's, it's a really, really good video. The The bad thing about it is that Jung Hun is not in it because he's recovering. But what they did is decide to give Taemin a chance to cover his vocals. Taemin does a very, very, very good job. But you could tell which parts were Jung Hun's. You, 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 could, you could tell. Um, some people complained on, like, why didn't Onu get more, um, lines in that song. Onu has enough lines in the song. Onu's my favorite. I don't think people understand that even though, like, Jung Hun is the main vocal, and then, um, Onu is the lead, Onu's voice is not Jung Hun's voice in the way of doing... All that craziness. Onu, Onu has like a very soft voice. And you hear him on the album. If you if you want to hear Onu's voice, wait to the album. Wait to the soft songs. There are many songs on that album. Pretty much it's just mainly Onu. Limited Jung Han and limited Taemin. So listen to the album if you want to hear Onu's voice. Because I think he does better with the ballads. Better with the softer, sweeter songs than the title songs. Where they're always kind of upbeat and fast. He, his voice doesn't always work with it, but there are some parts that why so serious that his voice just makes you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the video itself, he looks awesome and great. All of them, all, well, all four of them, look very, very good in the video. And I probably like this video more because I didn't pretty much was distracted by pencil pads or flower pads or like comic book strip ties or like green crazy shoes even though those shoes were hot and key it, it was just it was too much it was it was like sensory overload explosion but um i'm gonna leave it at that um shiny dream girl misconceptions of you why so serious misconceptions of me two well one two parts of one good album Altogether, iTunes is going to cost you about $20 to buy them both. I consider them a very, very good buy. Very good, high-quality music from Shiny, as should be expected. And um, SM has done very well by them. And whoever has composed and produced, helped them produce this album, did very well by them. This is the most consistent and most cohesive album of all the SM albums this year or probably ever. None of them are this cohesive and together and have a theme going with them. Everyone else it seems to be a bit just going out there and putting out songs and satisfying their fan base. Shiny's doing a bit more. They're, they're doing very great right now. The only um, bad thing is, I think they may be, with this album, they might be at their peak. They might. Hopefully they're not. Hopefully they have a lot more growing to go. Alright, and that's it. That's all I have to say about it. Buy Shiny's um, Dream Girl and, Miss, and Why So Serious. Um, and that's it. It's, they're good buys. They're great albums. Great music. Great K-pop. And that's all I have to say. I'm done saying that's all I have to say.